Today I have the great pleasure to chat with Emily Smith, SCAD alum and creative director for Lafayette 148. Tell me, what is a creative director? I mean, what's your role like? It is anything that deals with the creative aspect of the brand. So building the brand image, the brand, brand direction, starting from the concept of the collection to every touch point that goes to our customers. So that oversees all the photo shoots, all of the product categories, the store design, the store experience, everything that's related that is a, sort of an aspect of, of what our customer experiences from the brand. aesthetic that you're striving to communicate and everything that you design. We are a woman-led business. We were founded by Deirdre, our CEO, um, and other partners. And for us, it's really important to empower women. So really, it's a modern take on what women want to wear. And I feel like that's really, really important, especially in this day and age. We like to say that we focus on the accomplishing woman. So that's, you know, and we say accomplishing as in plural tense, because no matter what stage in her career, whether she's starting her career or She's a you know retiree on the board, whatever it might be. She's always contributing to something. She's part of a community. So we like to dress her for all those aspects seven days of a week. What's a day in the life like for a creative director? I mean, you must have many different things that happen, but um, is there a typical day, more or less? There's no typical day. <laughs> um, it depends on where, where we are in the season. We're usually, my team and I are usually working on three seasons at once. Wow. Um, it can be from the conceptual stage to the actual samples that we're making to really working with the marketing team to present it, to create the photo shoots, mm -hmm. to really delivering it into the store. So there's a lot of different processes that go along the way. And it can be quite difficult to kind of change gears and jump back and forth to this collection, to this collection, to speaking to people, mm -hmm. doing interviews, mentoring the team. Mm -hmm. It's all aspects to it. So Emily, there is the fashion side and the aesthetics, and there's also the business side. Um, how do you meld those two? It's easy to be creative and just focus on fashion. It's also easy just to focus on the business. But when you have to balance the two, there's really mm -hmm. an art form to that. Yes. It's like, you know, trying to know your customer. It's always knowing who she is, what she wants from you, and sort of anticipating what she doesn't know she wants. So mm -hmm. that's where you can kind Ooh. of... See, that's so important. Anticipating yeah. that what she doesn't know she wants. Like, yes. how do you do that? You have to get in her mind. You do. You have yeah. to really get into the psyche of who she is and, and what her life is like, mm -hmm. for sure. So that requires a lot of help from your sales team telling you what's working, what's not working, but also your own personal insight. And that's the creativity that we bring from being out, seeing what's going on, sort mm -hmm. of knowing what's coming, smelling what's coming, and being able to sort of meld the two together. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you deal with the buyers, but do you ever kind of just, you know, be a fly on the wall in the, in like the retail settings? Oh yeah, too? I never tell people who I am. I just <laughs> like to walk around and sort of be secretive about it because- What are they saying? Yeah, yeah. I really, because I want the honest opinion, right? I don't want people just to tell me nice things because of, you know, you gotta tell the designer nice things. You really need to hear what they think and what they feel and what they're angry about and what they love. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really important to have sort of that balance. Mm -hmm.